Hello again, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna go do a walkthrough of a new project car I picked up. Um, it's more of a daily driver, but it's something that I want to uh, make as a backup track car, something that's comfortable and something that you don't see every day. Um, well, you kind of do, but they're more rare in a six speed. Uh, and I always wanted one of these. Um, so it is a 2005 Acura TSX. I found this car in um, right at the Cincinnati uh, Northern Kentucky border. It's a 2005 TSX. Um, it is the um, Arctic Blue Pearl is the color, which is very close to Vivid Blue Pearl which is the RSX Type S color, but it's Arctic Blue, so it's a shade darker, and it's in freaking awesome shape. This thing has been owned for 10 years by the same guy, um, always garage kept, always maintained above and beyond, and 100% <clears throat> stock for the exception of this horrible Classy dip grill, <clears throat> which we're gonna fix. And uh, I don't know if you saw it when I walked down the first time, but it's got a uh, trailer hitch that we will be definitely removing because we don't need to put anything on here. It was uh, the guy had a bike rack he put on, um, so he didn't put it on the trunk, which is good. Look at the interior. so clean I'm very excited because if you've watched and you've seen my other cars you know how picky I am so this makes me very happy so the uh, the wheels are kind of meh but those don't matter since uh, very soon we'll be putting these on Yes, I ordered um, a bunch of parts for this car already. I ordered uh, coilovers, um, front adjustable upper control arms from K-Tuned, uh, and a rear camber kit from K-Tuned. <clears throat> so, um, actually I've sourced a uh, an OEM A-Spec entire lip kit, which if you haven't seen that on these cars, it looks phenomenal. Absolutely love that. Um, and yes, yeah, so just that's the plan. It's going to be a decent set of coilovers. I just went with uh, Teen um, Flex Z's because they offer a good ride since I am going to daily drive this car. But I can use them on the track if I wanted to because they're going to still be pretty compliant. But yeah, that's the plan. So I love this car. I've, I've always wanted one. Uh, I've had a bunch of RSX. I've never had a TSX. But this seems to have been really taken care of, which makes me very happy. So, S2000 is uh, still very dirty from Ohio. Um, we did have our, our car show last weekend that I took it to, and it at least got to see some new faces, I'm sure. Um, but nothing new with it. Still same old good stuff um i do want to i do want to paint this car i think at some point i want to go back to white just because um i the, the blue the wrap was just like a temporary thing to get me back on the track and to try out a color um but i really like paint so that's what i'll be doing with this ultimately but I'm going to do some TSX content, um, starting with coilover install, uh, rear camber kit, and front upper control arm install. Then we'll be doing an alignment. Um, we'll be getting the RPF1s on here and getting those all mounted and getting the tent redone. Just going to do some small visual things. Uh, it needs a little bit of PDR. So there's a ding right there. Hopefully I can get PDR'd out. And right there, I don't know if you can see that or not. But other than that, man, this car's in smoking shape. It's in really good condition. There's not a bunch of door dings on it. I mean, it's in good shape. So I'm pretty pumped. 
I'm just gonna replace this molding as well because it's got the stuff chipping up on it. But I'm very thrilled with the condition of this car. So. So that is, um, that's all for today. So I am going to be, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some uh, install, some DIY stuff um, and get this TSX um, track ready. It is eerily silent. If you've never driven uh, this, this has the K24A2 in it. Uh, it's a six speed. And what's awesome is this has a, um, a Fidanza light flywheel and aftermarket clutch. So it there's no rev hang. It actually revs really quickly, uh, faster than the S2000, shockingly enough. Um, and it's so quiet though. It has complete. It's completely stock. Like I said, stock exhaust, stock everything. So maybe it needs an exhaust system too. Um, just something tasteful, but something that makes it feel like it's a, like you're driving a car, like you're alive, <laughs> not like you're driving a Prius. So. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you want to see. I mean, I'm open to seeing what we can do. I kind of have a certain vision for this car, um, but I'm always open to, <clears throat> to ideas. So you guys let me know. Until next time, we'll catch you then. See ya.